Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing my nails using this little kit right here. This is like a Gelix extension dupe kit. Um, it's like meant to be like the Prey Gelix extension system, but a lot more affordable. I believe this kit is like $15 on Amazon, which is like really, really cheap. So I'm very interested to see if the nails will last long or if they won't also they have like their glue or their extension gel is like a six in one which is like crazy because like you know that's a lot for one thing it's supposed to be like a top coat a blooming gel a base coat a nail extension gel all these other things so i'm very excited to see how that works um so yeah i'm going to be doing my nails with this also i'm going to be using some other products from different brands in this video that I also received. So yeah, this is how the kit comes. It was a little bit neater, but I opened it. Um, comes with a little manual. And then it comes with the little gel, which is the six in one. And it also comes with this little cute lamp. So this is the little lamp, it's really cute, it has a little button. Hopefully this button works to turn it off as well because I tried the Beatles ones and that one didn't turn off, they just turned off automatically after like 90 seconds I think. And it also comes with a little cable. Yay, it does, okay. Alright, it also comes with a little chrome, it's a cute little orange. It also comes with a little file. It also comes with a tip guide for like French tips and stuff. I don't think this would really work for like long nails, but for short nails, this would work. And then it comes with five different full cover nails. There's a square, it looks like it's like a medium square a long coffin um, and then like a short coffin or a medium coffin a long stiletto and like a medium almond okay first thing first though i'm going to prep my nails and the prep is the same as like prepping your nails for acrylic application or for anything it's pretty much the same I'm going to push back my cuticles Alright, so now I'm going to take my e-file and I'm going to use a 180 grit sanding band and I'm going to put this at a very low speed and I'm going to remove the shine off of my nails. Alright, so this step is optional, but I'm going to take this little cuticle ball bit and I'm going to go around my cuticle just to make him nice and neat and kind of like get rid of any of that cuticle that's still on my nail plate. Again, I'm going to use this at a low speed and I'm actually going to put it reverse. I just feel like it works better.
right, so now I'm going to go ahead and size my nails. You want to make sure that it fits perfectly and not like too tight or too big. So after sizing them, I'm going to edge the back side of the nail. I feel like that just helps the nail adhere better rather than just having this shiny part. I feel like it will just pop off. So you could do it with a drill. You could do it with a hand file. It's just harder with a hand file. Um, you could also do it with acetone. So now I'm just going to dust off each nail. Now I'm going to take this alcohol pad and I'm just going to clean off my nails. So now I'm actually going to dehydrate and prime my nails. This step is optional you don't have to do this but I feel like if you really want them to last long you have to prime um, the primers is gonna help them last way longer so I highly recommend it um, I'm going to be using the JC Beauty Concepts dehydrator you can also use acetone or alcohol I basically already dehydrated but I still like to use this dehydrator it just gets rid of any oil that is still on the nail plate which will make your nails last longer so I'm just going to do a coat on all of my nails. After that dries, I'm going to be using the Not Polished Triple X Bond Primer. I'm going to do two coats of this. So now it's time to glue on the nails. So again, I'm going to be using the Model 1 6-in-1 nail glue for nail tips. I'm going to start off with the pinky. I just like working that way. I'm going to apply some onto my natural nail. And then I'm going to apply some onto the extension. And then at the very end, where the cuticle would be, I apply a little bit more. And I'm also going to turn on the light, just so that it's ready. Okay, so I'm just going to start in the cuticle area and then press down. And then I'm going to stick it under the lamp. Um, at the end, I will be curing my nails in my big lamp for a full minute. But again, I'm going to apply the gel onto my nail. I feel like this helps prevent air bubbles. And then I apply some onto the extension and then a little bit more towards the back. And if the nails are a little bit too secret for you, you don't want to fill that in with the gel, so you would apply a little bit more. So 
for my thumb, I do normally have to apply more because it's super flat. Um, and I do have some ridges in it, like some little bumps and stuff because I do bite my nails. Um, which I know is bad, but it's just a bad habit that I have. And that's why I actually started doing my own nails because I didn't want to bite my nails anymore. Um, so because of that, I am going to be applying a little bit more gel to fill in that gap because these are pretty curved. Alright, so now that I have all of my nails on, I am going to cure this in my big lab for 60 seconds. Alright, so this is how my nails look like after curing them. I did get some air bubbles but nothing too crazy, so hopefully they do last. So now I'm going to be using this Panna 5-in-1 drill bit in a fine grit, and I'm going to use this to file around the cuticle area, just to get rid of any gel that got on my cuticle, and also just to seal that in so that they last longer. Now I'm going to take my hand file and I'm going to shape up the nails a little bit. Mainly just filing the free edge because it does have a little nub thingy. going to take a nail buffer and I'm just going to buff off the shine off of the nails. So now I'm going to clean off my nails with another alcohol pad, um, just to get rid of any dust. Okay, so for the nail art, I am going to be using some products that McCart sent me. I'm going to be applying this again onto the entire nail. This is supposed to be an extension gel, a blooming gel, a top coat, a nail strengthener, a nail glue, and a base coat. So I'm going to be using it as a base coat right now. I'm just going to be applying a thin coat of this onto all of my nails and then curing for 60 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to be applying a coat of the gelish polish.
gonna cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going to be applying the Mamita gel polish in number one. Again, I'm gonna cure this for 60. I'm going to be using this orange and this yellow. This is number five and 17. And I'm going to mix them together to make like a brighter orange. So the brush I'm going to use to draw out my French tips is the Nails by Dev Hella Cute Liner Brush. Okay, so to draw out my French tips, I'm going to first draw a line in the center. And I'm going to draw it up to about where I want the smile line to be. And then I'm going to disconnect it right there. So I'm going to take this brush again and I'm going to fill in that. And then I'm going to try to make it neater because right now it looks bad. So now, since I'm like, I guess, happy with how this looks, I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds only. Okay, so now that it's out, I'm going to do the same thing to the pinky. All right, so now I'm going to be applying a second coat onto both of the orange nails. And I am pretty messy when applying it just because I am going to clean it up with my brush after. And this is just quicker, honestly. Okay, so for the middle finger, I'm going to be using this white gel polish from Beatles. It's A219. And for the ring and the thumb, I'm going to be using the Marcart black gel polish.
Okay, so I totally forgot to say what I was doing, um, but I took this Young Hales gel paint in Overdrive. It's just a black gel paint, and I just outlined my French tip. I am going to be creating like a stitch sort of design. cure that for three seconds okay so for the pinky i'm going to be doing another stitch design but not around the smile line i'm gonna do it on the actual french tip i'm just gonna draw two lines i'm gonna cure this for like 10 seconds all right so now i'm just going to draw the little stitches so i'm just gonna draw little lines Okay, so for the middle finger, I'm going to draw little bats. Okay, so for the ring finger, I'm going to be creating a white spider web. I'm going to be using the Not Polished Painting Gel in number three and the same liner brush that I've been using.
Okay, so for the thumb, I'm going to be doing the same spiderweb design that I did on the ring finger. But maybe I'll do it like a different way. So coming from like the bottom. Okay, so I'm actually going to be applying a little spider that came from part stuff. Going to use this little spider right here. It's so cute. Okay, so to stick it on, I'm going to use the Not Polished Super Diamond Gel Glue. I am just going to apply some on my ring finger right here in the center. cure this for 60 seconds so i'm going to be using the beetles gel top coat instead of the model ones just because i really like this one and i don't really feel like using the other one but you can if you wanted to but i want to use this one okay um i'm just going to apply this onto all of the nails So I'm gonna cure these for a full 60 seconds. Okay, so now for the final step, I'm just going to apply some cuticle oil onto my cuticles because they are very dry. All right, so this is how the nails turned out. I think they turned out really cute and fun. I really like them. Let me know what you guys think about them. Um, I really did like the model ones kit i feel like it was really easy to use we'll see how long they last though i am planning on doing a tutorial on how to do a fill on these type of nails so once they have grown out i will do a video on that if you guys are interested on any products that i use in today's video i will have them linked down below in the description thank you again to model one zimmer cart for sending me products to test out for you guys i really appreciate it but yeah that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys like this design. Let me know down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.